Hey there, I'm Beck, and I'm here to answer any questions you have about Hatch so I can provide a quick video answer. Our first question comes from Marisha on YouTube and she asks, is there a place in the software where I can switch between inches and millimeters? To switch between inches and millimeters, firstly make sure all objects are deselected. From here, you can switch between the US standard unit, which is inches, or metric, which is millimeters. Barb on YouTube asks, how do I stop a template file from opening when I just want a blank workspace? You can easily resolve this by reverting the template to its default settings. Go to the Windows icon and find Hatch Embroidery 3. From here, select Revert. Then check Template and click OK. The new blank design icon should now open a blank workspace. Bridget on Facebook asks, what are the best images for auto-digitizing? The best images for auto-digitizing are clean images, sometimes referred to as cartoons. Images that work well usually have a limited number of solid colors that have well-defined shapes. Hatch includes suitable images for auto-digitizing. These images are available from the design library by navigating to Hatch Pictures and then to the artwork folder. Here you will find images under various categories that work well with the auto-digitizing tools. Once you've chosen an image you want to auto-digitize, head over to Hatch Academy and complete the Getting Started course on auto-digitizing. Stephen asked our support team, how do I edit letter spacing? To edit letter spacing, ensure the lettering object is selected. Then in Object Properties, scroll down to the Advanced section where you will be able to adjust the letter spacing. And don't forget to head over to Hatch Academy for some more lessons on lettering. Thanks for your questions and if you have any Hatch questions, post them in the comments below and I will see you in the next Ask Beck video.